Welcome back to Agile Chef. Today, we're going to explore a fundamental concept in Agile development, the art of slicing. As an experienced Agile coach and Scrum Master, I'm thrilled to share with you the differences between vertical and horizontal slicing and how they can revolutionize your product development process. So grab your virtual seats and join me as we dive into this exciting topic. But first, let's understand why slicing is crucial in Agile. Slicing refers to the practice of breaking down work into smaller, manageable pieces that can be delivered incrementally. By slicing your product features or user stories effectively, we can achieve faster feedback, reduce risk and deliver value to our customers early and often. So, what is vertical slicing? Vertical slicing is an approach where we prioritize delivering end-to-end -end functionality across different layers or components of our product. Instead of focusing on completing individual layers or components separately, we work on delivering a complete slice of functionality that adds value to the customer. This approach allows us to receive early feedback, validate assumptions, and make course corrections as needed. Now, let's talk about horizontal slicing. Horizontal slicing involves delivering a subset of functionality across all layers of components of our product. Rather than completing one layer at a time, we work on delivering a thin slice of functionality that spans the entire product. This approach enables us to validate technical feasibility, identify integration challenges, and establish a foundation for further development. Both vertical and horizontal slicing have their benefits and considerations. Vertical slicing allows us to deliver value to customers sooner, receiving early feedback, and adapt our product based on real-world usage. It helps us avoid the pitfall of building large chunks of functionality that may not align with customer needs. On the other hand, horizontal slicing allows us to establish a solid technical foundation, ensuring seamless integration between components and reduce the risk of building siloed features. So when should we use vertical slicing and when should we opt for horizontal slicing? The choice depends on several factors including project complexity, customer needs, technical dependencies, and the desired level of early value delivery. It's essential to collaborate with the development team, product owner, and stakeholders to assess these factors and make informed decisions. Remember, slicing is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Agile is all about flexibility and adaptability. So feel free to combine vertical and horizontal slicing techniques based on the unique needs of your project. The key is to find the right balance between delivering value early and establishing a solid technical foundation. That wraps up our exploration of vertical and horizontal slicing, a crucial aspect of agile development. Well, we've learned how vertical slicing allows us to deliver end-to-end -end functionality and receive early customer feedback, while horizontal slicing helps us establish a solid technical foundation and ensure seamless integration. By mastering these techniques, we can unlock the power of incremental delivery and create exceptional products that delight our customers. Stay tuned for more captivating episodes where we dive into the Agile methodology and equip you with the knowledge and tools to thrive in this dynamic world of product development. Until next time, have a great day.